wonder and the pleasure. <laughs> sometimes I wonder about pleasure. <laughs> and sometimes the opposite occurs. But in the process of wondering about pleasure, I realize that what's happening to me is actually my memory is kicking up chemicals all over the place. And I wonder about pleasure. And your memory kicks up chemicals every time you sit in a room and you experience your life and this life together. And this room is kind of a semi-once-in-a-lifetime experience. You don't often get a chance to lean back in a planetarium during a conference and fall asleep during a concert. <laughs> I won't give you much chance to do that, but my thoughts today run in this direction of remembering things, and that all that I think of as technology is actually a kind of a sensual triggering of chemistry. And we, through our memories, believe and enjoy the before and the after. That's all there is. So, silence.
air rushing through, very softly activating, like a kind of a jello bow, the skin and the hairs reaching out between the fingers. Midsummer day, they walked along beside the water. He found himself mumbling, Is this my business? Do I ever really know what my business is? The dog walking next to him, it smelled receptors, still chewing on some strange enzymes floating in the air, looked up and said,
hand. Like a cup in your 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 hand. I just want to interrupt this loop for one moment. A lot of people are doing this these days. Loop stuff. The technology for looping is so advanced now. You know what I mean. What I have here is a little box I bought in 1983. And this box has two second loop in it. Uh, something that makes a two second loop. I don't know what it is. And it records or it gives a sampling rate of, I think, eight bits. So it's really lousy sound. But I love it. It's more than a box for me. It's kind of a surface, and it's a surface that has uh, a touching field that I can work with. So the reason I interrupted that at that point was because looping by itself is really terribly uninteresting. You know, It's where the looping sits, or wh what it takes part of that, I mean, it should really be considered part of a larger mm, architectural field. I mean, the idea of looping, the repetitive, one could even say fractal elements, the, the repetitive, uh, the re returning uh, structural elements which create memory, as I want to try to say. These things trigger chemicals. And they trigger chemicals. And, and I think if you could put it together with something a little more you know, architectural. Just the idea of building a house. Let's think of that. The idea of taking a surface and extending it out of this space. Don't try this at home. It doesn't really work very easily. We're talking about the interaction of two surfaces, this friction point point of friction where everything happens. This is the point where all interesting things occur here between at this rug. So if I was really functioning well tonight, today, this afternoon, wherever we are, whenever it is, I would find some sound I could add to this that would give me another level. Something trapped in this box that can't really change. But once I put it together with this structure, maybe it's a little bit different.
the phone record, the musical thought, the score, the ways of sound. We'll stand to one another in that pictorial interrelationship which holds between holds between language, between language and the world. <laughs> said to me when she came to the concert, it was always in my mind after the first time she said it. She said, David, I love your music so much. It's so sensitive and so emotional. But there's one problem. I said, yeah, Ma, what's the problem? She said, you never finish anything. <laughs> and this is interesting to, to think about. That this woman's concept of structure needed a certain kind of end point to feel that the beginning was worth happening. It's kind of like telling the future without knowing you're doing it in some strange way. And I began to imagine that a mother, that a mother was like kind of a galaxy, you know, like what we have here by 
chance tonight. A mother was like a galaxy, a huge galaxy. And once I uh, developed this deep, profound idea that a mother was like a galaxy, it became clear to me that a father is a time machine. So if you can imagine, let's try to make this visual okay, in some strange way. Uh, galaxy, mother, galaxy. Yeah, I think so. It's pretty funny. Uh, okay, here's a good one. Father. Time machine. Okay. Now you can imagine that the balloon is infinitely large and the time machine exists all the time, everywhere. You can imagine that they <clears throat> interpenetrate in various ways as mothers and fathers do. And this the revealing concept to me about time and memory, that a mother would be a galaxy, a father would be a time machine. And I began to think about saying something about this concept. A mother would be a mother, a mother would be a galaxy. set you up for this one.
braces for steps out of time, crushes it. Thank you. 